arriving here at Mr. Robert Canan's house with his brother John. We're going to see what they're up to here on this leisurely afternoon here in Round Valley. Going to see what they're talking about over here. They always got a little something chatting about around here. Let's see if we can get them to let us listen in to them. Hello, Wildlanders. This is my brother John here. I'm Robert. We're just uh, sitting here on the porch like a couple old timers, you know, just just wanted to be together, you know, and uh, reminisce about the good old days. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're uh, coming on our 79th birthday. Born in 1940, we've had quite a quite a perspective of the world, and uh, we we never thought uh, all the time we were growing up it would get to this horrible state of uh, <clears throat> corruption that we're experiencing today. <laughs> but here we are, and it's not good. But. We do have some solutions. Yeah, we do have some solutions, and the frogs are uh, getting into the chorus right now. They're, yeah, well, that's the chorus here on Spirit Creek. Uh, yeah, the froggy chorus. And we yeah. are, you know, s some of the, the last of the wild lander cottage crafters. They've pretty much driven us to extinction, but here we are, <laughs> in spite of it all. Yeah, in spite <laughs> of it all. And uh, we're, we're in Round Valley, uh, California, and uh, this is the oldest Indian reservation in, in the state of California, it might be the oldest in, in this part of the West. Uh, and. Uh, some say it's the largest also, certainly a uh, high percentage of Native Americans in the school system. Uh, I've spent quite a few years uh, teaching woodshop and uh, working with the Native people, and I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to be real sad when I have to retire soon. <laughs> well, this particular piece of uh, property, uh, we actually bought this in 1970, and we are the first uh, white inhabitants of this uh, property. The previous owners were, as far as I can tell, Doc Fullwilder and his sister Annie, uh, and they lived in a little cabin right where the creeks come together, right over there. Uh, and uh, Doc Fuldweiler was definitely a medicine man. There was a tape made, a recording of him in 1958, and where he sings his songs and tells his stories. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting story. But I think that we can learn from the natives because they were the last people who took care of this planet. And, uh, you know, the, the yeah, gold rush mentality that settled California really unsettled California. Uh, but here we are. Brought over the, the Chadwick book, There's a Garden in the Mind. Yeah. And I was looking at the introduction and I hadn't really realized that the last project that Alan Chadwick did, he called New Harmony Garden. Uh -huh. New Harmony. Yeah, uh, that's a beautiful idea for harmony. This is my uh, feather here. I got a couple of these uh, that we made. This one I've got sacred peace on it that one peace, peace and, and harmony, harmony. Yeah. Uh, yeah and on the back is uh, sacred symbols but this falling feather was a really important and sacred symbol to the native people 
they, they, they really relate to this. Well, it represented their traditional ways. Right. The feather. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, the feather is, is, is such a gentle, uh, mm -hmm. you know, object, the way it falls from the sky and just floats, and it's so delicate, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got a we got a frog up, really, really talking to us right now. Yeah, came came right in. Yeah, for the chorus. Yeah, came right into the chorus. Didn't want to be left out. Ask not what your planet can do for you. Ask what you can do for your planet. Yeah, amen Wild to that. Manners. Amen to that. Yes. Take care of the planet.